If someone doesn't have a teacher and can't get anyone to help in a more direct manner, what should that person do? Assume there is no monastery or center available. And I get this question a lot, which is why I'm doing this tour down the East Coast, because I'm thinking, well, here's my answer, I'll come see you. No need to sit in the courtyard and wait. I'll come to you, sort of. We're kind of doing it. I'm going to put a video out soon about the the final... Um, tour the um, can't get anyone to help in a more direct manner I mean it's not about getting someone to help it's about going to them as I said earlier really you have to find a way to go to the teacher you, you, you that's the, the, the thing to do at least to visit best if you can stay for some time find someone South Carolina um yeah, I'm going through South Carolina, right? Um, maybe we're going to meet. So that's something. But uh, any anywhere in the U.S., you can find things, but you have to travel from state to state. You have to probably go to another state. You have to work for it. I mean, that's really the problem with YouTube is it's too easy for people, and so they they want it all now. This is there's a potential to just want things to fall into your lap, which they don't. You have to work for them. So again, think back to sitting in the courtyard. This guy who traveled all the way to China and then had to sit in a courtyard. He got there, they wouldn't let him in. So rather than turn around and go home, he had such determination that he sat in this courtyard in the rain for two days. And they finally let him in. That kind of thing. You need perseverance. That's what I would recommend. Uh, apart from that, you know, the, the standard answer is to look on the internet. There's lots of stuff. There are lots of resources impersonal resources, but none of it compares to actually living and studying under a qualified teacher. So that's what I would you know, recommend.